Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. To all of my returning subscribers, hey, how you doing? And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, kick your feet up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any posts. Also follow me on Instagram at the same profile name so you don't miss the sneak peeks of what's coming up next. In this video, it's the new season of Ready to Love, hosted by Tommy Miles and executive produced by Will Packer. In this dating show, we have 20 professional African-American men and women ready to mingle. 10 men, 10 women, and of course this dating show has a little twist. We'll talk about the cast that we met in this episode and first impressions. That's all coming up next. Now we have 20 candidates to go over, so I'll just give my brief recap and first impression of everyone. So I'll start with the guys. We have Calfani, very attractive, beautiful, professional bodybuilder. He seems very happy and healthy in his life. He loves to be active. And from his tone, he wants somebody that's very, very interested in taking care of themselves. Wonderful health on the inside and on the outside, the way that they treat people. So he seems very, very passionate about that. But at the same time, unfortunately, he was pretty, un you know, forgettable. I forgot about this guy by the time we got to the last person because his personality really didn't seem to, to bubble over to where we got to meet him. He seemed kind of shy and distant. Maybe it's just production. Maybe he's shy with the cameras. We don't know. So I look forward to learning a little bit more about Kelfani. But from this first episode, we really don't get too much insight. And I think he's shy. Then we have Rashid, who is 42 years old. He was married for 10 years. He has a son and he's been divorced for two years and he feels that he wants to get back into the dating world, but he's been really shy about social media and getting to meet new people because he's been married for so long. But it's something about this guy, his tone and his energy, where I feel that, hmm, is he a player? Is he kind of flossing the luxury cars to women and driving them around? Because in a lot of his photos that they presented on the episode, he seems pretty social to me. He's seems like he's very familiar with social media but then again that's just my presumption I did see the Kappa Alpha Psi brand on the chest not that that makes you <laughs> a certain way but you're no stranger to the game you know what I mean I hate to say that but it's just one of those things that you observe if I'm being a detective and I'm looking at first impressions it's just really hard for me to believe that this guy hasn't taken advantage of having these luxury vehicles and what he's posting on social media and that it's not grabbing him a couple of ladies he also didn't mention why the 10-year marriage ended he kind of looped around that and really didn't give a good mm, explanation of why but hopefully that's something that he'll talk about more in this season then we have Brian. Brian seemed pretty cool. He did explain that he had a three-year-old and the lady that he had the baby with, they really didn't have this connection. He wasn't ready for love, but he is grateful for his daughter. But his daughter being born really motivated him to look at love with a different perspective, how to treat women, how to be respectable, and he's ready for love and he's open to that. Now with this situation, unfortunately, if you you're saying that you're looking at love different. That doesn't just change overnight. He has to have this process where he's getting to know people because whoever he meets, of course, will have to deal with the baby's parent and how he can go forward with that. He did have these player vibes, but then again, it's first impressions. So David, let me tell you about this guy. He is so country and I love it. If I was on this show, I would so be attracted to David because of his personality. He says that his weak weaknesses is that he's too much of a guy that trusts women. He's just very nice to everybody and he wants to have a wife and he wants to date, but he's been in situations where people take his kindness for weakness. They take advantage of him. He just wants to get married, fix everything, take care of her, fix the car, mow the grass, and just be a country boy. I Man, I promise you, I'd be right on, I'd be right on David. He's a catcher, ladies. 
So I have a couple of friends like Jay. Now, Jay explains that he was married for four and a half years and he has a beautiful daughter, but he does admit that he was so into his work, his family was second. He said that he always had the fear that he had to give and, and, you know, have the means to take care of his family. So he always thought about that first. And by the time he got home, he didn't have much time for family, which he feels put a damper on his relationship. He does feel that he's in a proper state of mind now where he has to learn how to balance work and family at the same time. So I look forward to learning more about Jay and uh, hopefully he'll share more things about his ex-wife and about how he takes care of his daughter and how he plans on balancing it all. So Jay seems like a pretty cool guy. Oh my gosh. Where do I start with Samuel? Sammy. Oh my gosh, Sam. When he was talking, I felt like he was on another planet. He just seems like he's such in this dark place. I don't know if it's because he's very artsy and just like this reincarnated hippie and he's just cool like that man or he's just really in a dark place because he talked about how he was engaged to his baby's um, uh, mom and him being in the artsy world, she was very insecure about him being around other people, how he looked and all of this good stuff. But he said that he got somebody pregnant that he barely even knew, which is his baby's mom. And he never felt that connection with her, which made him really, really sad. But every time he talked, he was on the verge of tears. And I hope that he can get through that. And that doesn't damper his chances of getting in to know the other ladies, because when he spoke, he was really about to put me to sleep. And I didn't know whether to give him a hug or just tell him to take another zo z dose of Zequel and just lay down. We, we going we, we to send a prayer up for Sammy Sam. <laughs> Christopher, where do I begin with this guy? Talk about he's got a big ego, such a big ego. This guy just walked up, no shirt, just a, just a, <laughs> just a suit jacket. And is talking about how he's such this big radio personality that he doesn't want women to date him because of his popularity and who he is in the industry and the glamorous world of radio that he doesn't know who wants to get to know him for him or they just want to get to know him because he knows people in the industry like wow hey memo to chris i've never heard of you <laughs> So then we have Edwin. He's a really cool guy. He hasn't been in the dating world for a while because he was in Iraq fighting for our country, right? And he's very active. He loves to work out, wants somebody that has the same energy and loves to work out as well. And he takes pride in his age and showing his gray. And he feels like his gray is a badge of honor. And he doesn't seem like any guy, a guy with red flags. He seems like he's really cool and he's really ready for love. It's just genuine energy he's putting out and I don't see anything that's deceptive in a way but of course it's first impression so we'll see what he brings to the table and <laughs> for the rest of the season oh my goodness oh and another one another cocky one Raymond 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 he feels that he's ready for love he's athletic you know he's 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 an artist he's always been on the road he's played the guitar for several celebrities and he has five kids but he's never been married red flag all over the place and he shares that when he did have a very very interesting going into serious relationship that the woman was just so uncomfortable with his past and the way he behaved with other relationships she called it off and he did admit that he told her it's my way or the highway and she took the highway and that really 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 let him down and it really really hurt him and he got his ego checked at the door so let's see how Raymond and um how Chris get along with in the house we got we got two very very cocky big ego men um of course there may be more than that but I want to see what the static between Raymond and Chris that should be very very interesting 
And last but not least, we have Anthony. Such a very um, positive energy from this guy. He's very athletic. He played football through college and also arena football and had opportunities to go and play overseas. But I do like the fact that he was very honest. He says, hey, I haven't been in a relationship because I had football. I had a lot of temptation and I didn't want to dedicate with being someone in such a serious relationship because I wouldn't be a fit for anybody and it wouldn't be fair, especially with all the traveling that I did. So now that he's doing more of sports medicine and different things in that category, he feels like he has more time to dedicate to someone that he's getting to meet and date and spend time with, etc. So he seems like a really cool dude. Now let's get to the women. Now, Joy has this awesome, bubbly, free-spirited personality. She said that she divorced after three years, and when she got divorced, she realized that she made a big mistake with getting married, that she shouldn't have been married in the first place. It was something in, in her telling her not to get married. And after they were married, he cheated and it just wasn't right. So since then, she's had this wall up in trusting and getting to know more people. And she's getting older and her sex drive is higher than ever. So of course, I think Miss Joy is one that's going to be mm, <laughs> saying hello to a few of the fellas. Adriana, she was a cheerleader for the Houston Texans, never had cheerleading experience, but she wanted to prove it to herself that she could do anything, and she did it. But she doesn't want men to see her as just this cheerleader, that she's really, really smart, she's bubbly, and has fun. Now, I don't know if it was just, just nerves because of the camera, but she really seemed kind of dry and really not um, up to really speaking more about herself or giving us an idea of her personality or things that she likes to do, she's going to really have to come out of her shell if she doesn't really want to be perceived as, as this high, you know, stereotypical, bubbly, don't know anything cheerleader. So I hope she just she blossoms just a little bit more. Now, Miss Alicia is going to be the ball of fire for this season. When I say that, I mean giving us that pep in the series. The one that might bring the drama and the one that might bring the excitement. She has a lot of confidence, so much confidence that she feels that she just demands the attention of every room that she walks into and that she can have pretty much any man, man that she likes. Because at one point in time, she said she had low, low self-esteem and she then got the confidence to lose a lot of weight and got a mommy makeover so she is ready for the world she feels that when she broke up with her past guy um she broke up with him because they didn't look good in photos. And if he's shorter or if he's not of a certain height or looks a certain way that benefits her, then it's over. <laughs> She'll break up with him. So she has a lot to say. And she was the one out of the first episode that was a little bit more vocal than everybody else. So this may cause some static with the other women and them trying to get to know the other guys because her confidence is through the roof. And this might cause a little static between I don't know the men and the women she might rub people the wrong way unfortunately OMG how cute I've always admired people with names that are of seasons like if your name's summer oh my gosh uh, vote for me I, <laughs> it's summer all year long you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> like Napoleon Dynamite in the movie, anywho, but winter, what a beautiful personality. She's proud of her looks. She's not cocky, but she's confident. And she was married for two and a half years. And she um, feels that her marriage was just shot because he slept with someone three weeks after um, they got married. So she has this wall up too with trusting people and getting to know someone. But she seems so smart and I love her personality. So let's see what winter will bring to the table. Simone, oh, I love her personality. She was awesome. She's amazing. She also described that she knows what the issue is with her dating life. Since she's a lawyer, she can't separate 
the interrogation or the demand energy from going on a date and leaving that in the courtroom. She's very aggressive when she's dating people, asking 50,000 questions and just drilling them to death <laughs> with all of this the, the questions and asking and wanting to know everything like right then at that moment instead of taking time to get to know someone. She also mentioned that she got counseling with her father because she noticed the same things in her dating life. She would date people that reminded her of her dad which wasn't really good because she wanted everybody to meet those expectations of her dad personally but everybody's their own personality correct so she realized that there was just a lot of hurt between her and her father and that there's still some healing for her to do in order for have to her to have a healthy dating life so I found that to be very interesting at least she's observant and honest about the mistakes or maybe dating things that she, the dating uh, ways that she has that she needs to change so it was really refreshing for her to be honest and to say that hey it's me I need to work on stuff instead of saying hey all of these men out here are trash so I really like that about her that she was really honest Denise girl I didn't even have to see the first episode first to just know that you needed to lighten up I could tell from your profile photo that you just need to just chill like she didn't even smile like who who does that but Denise she says she hasn't really been in that many relationships. She's been all about track and field. She's very, you know, uh, dedicated when it comes to athletics. And she really doesn't know how to open up. And she seems like she's very happy when she talks. She says that she loves to have fun. She loves her friends. But her outside demeanor doesn't match her inside. It seems like she's upset when she talks. She has a lot of aggressiveness. And hopefully we'll learn where that comes from. Is she hurt? Is she just shy and doesn't know how to get that to unveil on the outside with her energy? Denise just seems very abrasive. And I, I you know, I really don't want to say that, but what you give off gives the first impression a really, really bad look. So hopefully Den Denise, when she gets around the other women, can kind of chill out, get to know some people and that inner influence and that behavior and that bubbliness that she says she has will come out. Danny, she was, I really, really loved her energy. She has a story of a lot of single mothers, what single mothers have. She says that after um, having a brief relationship with her baby's father that she did want to date a lot of people and she didn't want to her daughter while growing up to see her with a lot of men. So she really didn't have a dating life that was consistent. Every now and then she would date someone serious or it just wouldn't, it just wouldn't come together. There was always something that really didn't match. So she just stayed focused on raising her daughter. Now that her daughter is an adult, went through college, she feels that now is her time for her to date and get to get to know people. Um, so she seems like she's very sincere about getting to know someone and that she's ready for love. So I look forward to hearing more from Danny. Shay is another individual that's that's has a very beautiful personality. She was a teenage mom, so she really didn't have time to date like she wanted to. She was very dedicated to her child, and there were a lot of things that she needed to work out personally before she started dating. She seems to be very open and honest. She says she doesn't have a type. She loves whoever loves her. She loves whoever gives her the the positive energy and the positive things that she needs in her life in order to have a successful relationship. And that those are good things to look for. She didn't say he has to be this tall, or he has to be this way, or has to be that. She says, I'm willing to get to know anyone who wants to get to know me and someone who's loving and caring. So I look forward to hearing more from Shay. Ooh, okay, Naya. Um, wow. So she wants a lot. Um, yeah, so she owns her own salon. She's always had it in her mind that she wants to be a housewife with white picket fence and have a lot of children. The only thing is that she can't, um, she's, it's not like she has a lot of time to have children. She's, she's mentioned that she had four miscarriages and if someone wants to have children with her, she really, really needs to focus on being pregnant and that's it. Um, because that's the only way that can happen. She has to make sure that her 
her health is right, that she is on bed rest. And, you know, it just seems like to me that with her having this focus of being a housewife and having a baby and all of these things, being realistic about your body and all these things. I know, hey, anything's possible. Not saying she can't have a baby, but she's she mentioned that there's this fear of her building the hopes up of a potential husband and her having children and there are miscarriage situations. So I just hope that she makes realistic goals or has it in her mind that there is a possibility for her not being successful with having children. And she did say that she can have the baby first and not worry about being married. As long as she gets that baby and a light, nice relationship, she's cool with that. So let's see how many men um, will put their two cents in on uh, her perspective on things. Last but not least is Alexandria, but she likes to go by Alex. She seems like she has a very, very good positive energy and bubbly personality. She says at her age, dating in Houston is just a big cluster of confusion. Everybody is at this point to where they don't know what they want or they have a lot of children. And she was engaged at one point, but the fiance cheated on her. And she knows that she has this wall up and getting to know people. So she's really focused on being celibate. She's been celibate for over two years and she wants to make sure that the next person that she's with acknowledges that when she wants to become intimate, true love has to be involved. That's really, really something that's important to her, but we'll see how her per perception changes when she's away for months with these attractive men at a beautiful romantic resort. We shall see. The best of luck, Alex. <laughs> I see what production did with this season. They have a lot of women who are very confident and that may come off as cocky and intimidating in a way. You know, there's a good balance of having confidence and having high self-esteem and then also having this irritating kind of aura about you. I see that with the, a couple of men and a couple of women, it's also adding more fuel to the fire with having everyone at this resort. They're all living close to together and they're filming for several months so that is a it's a lot to think about is this true love or is this infatuation so they're going to deal with that and they're adults as we see with the preview for next week there's a lot of temptation and then there's some jealousy boiling but how can you get upset when no true relationships have been established so i'm really really anxious to see how that's going to evolve and grow now even though we do have 20 candidates it's all going to go down to six and those six will be the ones that are really really looking for love those who are really serious about relationships and the spin on this show is that it's from a male perspective with a lot of dating shows we always hear a lot from the women but we're gonna see more footage of men saying how they feel about the women how they're feeling about the environment and how they feel about the other guys so I think that's really really interesting it's also great that Will Packer had this idea of making sure that everybody was already established with some sort of career. We have those that have been married. We have those that have been single and close to being married, engaged, really serious relationships. Those who have children already and those that want kids but don't have them. And how will that change their opinions about maybe those that they're interested in and saying, man, I really like this person, but I'm not ready for kids or I don't want more kids. So we're going to get to see later on after we get to know everybody else's personalities now as I reviewed all of the candidates earlier it's really hard to say who I think is going to behave in a certain way but first impressions are everything right so I mean that's what I feel and you can kind of have an idea of personalities and who they are but of course as we get to know people more, they may open up. Some people just may have been nervous. They're not used to being in front of a camera, so they're not really expressing their true presence. It takes time to get to know someone, and we're seeing that it is the true form of you really have to get to know somebody. You really can't look up on the outside and just go with the first impressions and run with it. Usually first impressions are true, 
But like I said, every there's different factors that can weigh in on judging someone's personality, someone's life and so forth. Let me know what you think. I look forward to the rest of this season and I can't wait till we can really start to get to know everyone. And we don't just have this resume of information of who they are, what they've been through and what they're looking for. It's really going to take us to see how they communicate with everybody else, how they respect one another and get to know one another and are some there just to get their freak on <laughs> and say hey this was a good tv experience we don't know who's there for clout and we don't know who's there really for love but let me know what you think leave your comments down below and i'll see you next week stay tuned for tomorrow for the new season of iyala fix my life until next time stay safe be careful but not fearful i love you guys bye <laughs>